Okay, here is a new spy watch we have for sale. It's a very nice silver on black design. It looks really good and performs even better. This is a rock solid high quality watch. It takes clear 720 by 480 video at 30 frames per second with virtually zero drop frames. It has 8 gigabytes of internal memory for storing hours of recorded video. The video from this watch is very good compared to many of the other uh, spy cameras that I see out there. The colors are vivid, the picture is clear and crisp, and I couldn't detect any frame drops at all. The lens is set for somewhat distant recording, meaning it almost has a zoomed effect. This is good for a spy watch because most of the time you might want to be taking covert video from a distance of at least 10 feet away or so. It's kind of hard to spy on someone when you are right in their face, right? The recorded video is actually rather good. The mic is sensitive and can pick up voices from over 10 feet away. I'm gonna no, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. It's all you. I can wait. I just have a simple question anyway. Okay, so $59.88 for you. Okay. And then, you want fries? Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Yeah. Fries? Don't they have, the, don't, hey, what, don't they have the, what's that new kind of fry that they have? Oh, who wants what, the crisscross? Yeah, what is? Crisscross. Oh, yeah, we've had those forever. No, the, you just had, you had some new ones out. The, the sweet potato are a new one. Oh, is the it buffalo, buffalo cut? Yeah, we have yeah. two now. This spy watch comes packaged with the watch itself, a couple of extra caps, a USB cord, an AC adapter, a CD, and the original instructions. Now the Chinese instructions are very difficult to understand, so if you order one of these for me, you will get this set of exclusive, easy to read, true English instructions developed by me personally. My instructions will get you up and running in only a few minutes. Now the first thing I notice about this watch is that it is just downright cool looking. The band itself is a little rubbery and it's stretchy and it was designed to get wet. Now a quick word about these screw-on caps. The watch comes with a total of four of them. Two have rubber grommets inside and are designed to be waterproof and the other two have a tiny hole in them. These caps are designed to screw on and cover both the charge jack and the audio mic. If you plan on being in a location where the watch might get wet, be absolutely sure you have covered both the microphone and the charging jack tightly with the two waterproof caps. For recording in dry conditions, you can cover the microphone with an open cap or leave the cap off altogether for better sound reception. Now this is a real watch that tells time with an analog clock, so the mic will also pick up the internal ticking sound the watch makes as the hands move. One thing some people have asked me is if it's possible to turn off the ticking sound to make it disappear from the resulting audio tracks. The easiest way to do this is just pull out the time set dial as if you're trying to set the clock and then record video. This stops the clock and the ticking altogether. The camera is intentionally positioned upside down in the clock face. This is so that when you are wearing the watch it will take video right side up when your arm is in a normal position. That way you can wear it like a regular watch and take video without anybody suspecting it. Charging the watch is simple. Just plug it into your computer's USB port with a charge cord and the LED lights will begin blinking telling you it is charging. When the battery is full the LED will stop blinking and remain steady. Alternatively you can use the included AC adapter to charge the watch from any wall outlet. This is especially convenient because with 8 gigabytes of internal memory and great compression hardware, you will run out of battery life before you run out of storage space. The internal battery will give you nearly 2 hours of recording time when fully charged. Now a word of caution about charging the battery, I have noticed in many spy cameras like this that the internal circuitry is not the best at peak charging the battery. If you leave this or any other tiny little spy gadget on the charger too long, it can overheat and shorten battery life. I recommend charging for at most three hours or even less if you're just topping off the battery. To turn the camera on, simply hold down this lower button here. When the LED changes color, let go and after a second it shifts to solid blue. This is standby mode. Now you can either take video, a still picture, or audio only. We will start with taking video. To start recording video, just quick press the lower function button. The blue LED will blink three times and then go out. You are now recording video with audio. Now one really cool feature about this watch is you can tell if you are recording simply by quick pressing the lower function button again. 
Just give it a quick press and the blue LED will blink three times then go out again. This is an excellent feature to give you a quick indication if your watch is still recording or if it has perhaps saved and powered off due to low battery or something. Now to manually stop recording video, you just hold down the lower function button until the red LED blinks three times and then goes out. This saves the file and also powers down the watch. When testing several of these watches out, I pressed the video record button and then left it alone all night and the watch recorded video until it ran out of battery. It records 30 minute files before saving and beginning a new file. Each of these three files here are 30 minutes long. Then this one was 10 minutes and the last one was 5 minutes. This happened almost exactly the same with seven different tests of seven different watches. So the watch intelligently saves shorter and shorter files when it senses the battery's getting low. All five of these files total about 105 minutes in length and only take up about 1.39 gigabytes, which is less than one-fifth of the eight gigabyte internal memory. So do the math, that equals nearly nine hours of storage capacity if you are recording video with audio. On the other hand, there is also an option to record audio only. And because audio only files take up far less than video, well, I'm guessing you could probably get over 100 hours of audio only into the 8 gigabyte watch. If you want to record audio only, just hold down this upper function button for a couple of seconds until the red LED blinks three times and then goes out. You are now recording audio. To stop recording, just quick press the button again. The watch can also take still pictures, which is handy if you need just a snapshot of something. Just quick press the upper function button and the LED will turn red and then go back to blue, indicating a picture has been taken. I know there's a lot of watches on the market, so be careful of imitations. Other spy watches might look similar to this one, but if you order one from me, you can be certain of exactly what you're getting. Order now, you can have it in two to three days. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more cool gadget videos. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hey, what's your, uh, where's your camera section at? Camera, excuse me, it's going to be just straight through the game cases. Okay, I, I looked over there already. The only thing I saw was the, the cases for the phones or whatever. There's actual cameras? There's no cameras over here in this section? No, they're past the actual game cases. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, you guys, is this all the cameras you guys carry? Mm hmm You guys don't carry any, um... If you get it from the store, you get, I believe the one lens comes with it. I can't remember if a camera bag comes with it. But then they have bundles that you can get online that mm -hmm. comes with the memory card, the camera bag, everything with mm -hmm. it, usually for the same price. Okay. Do you have any Walmart stuff? Do you have any hidden cameras that can record for security type purposes? I have all these that are security. Are they, do they actually look like security cameras? Mm hmm Okay. See, like they have the lights. I'm looking for something that I could put in my motel room, like a clock or something, to where people wouldn't know it was a camera. Do you have anything like that here at all? I don't have anything like that. Okay.